what's up everybody it's Denaro O'Neill you know Planet One Music and today I'm going to show you how to export your audio out into another DAW so you can mix and master and all that other good stuff so um, a lot of people make their music on DAWs you know either whether it's FL Studio or whatever but I particularly use um, um, machine because I'm able to you know actually have a hands-on hardware type thing and I'm used to an MPC and stuff like that so I'm an MPC style type producer so no matter whatever um, doll you're using or whatever uh, hardware you're using, when you export your stuff, this is what I'm kind of basically showing you the certain things you probably want to keep in mind. So this is the beat that I made. So as you can see, it's not even mixed at all. So uh, in order to mix it, you know, I want to go over here and press export. <clears throat> now what you want to keep in mind um, here if you use a machine or any other thing it's kind of the same thing you want to make sure it's normalized because if not you're gonna get small wave files and you don't want that you want to loop uh, optimize because most songs are just loops over and over they just take out an instrument like a snare or something to make you think the, the songs changed or something like that didn't change it just took something out all right so um, uh, you want to make sure that it's in 44 you know, sometimes you can put it in 48, but not everything reads 48. You can convert it to 48 later, but usually when you're just making loops, it's all going to sound the same. The ear really can't, the human ear can't really tell a difference. You know, it's just how it picks up inside of the machine. And if it's like uh, people using it on different systems, like a 5.0 or 6.7 or 6.0 speaker or something like that, you know, like the big stuff that you see in movie theaters. Anyway, um, you want to, of course, make sure it's saved in the right place. And um, what I do normally, I just go to my, you know, PC here on my desktop and then I go to uh, Machine Studio and then I go to beat number 570 and I just throw it in there and then you just press OK and then it's already in there. So you just put it in and you label it like underscore stems, something like that, right? And like I said, um, <clears throat> if you own uh, if you own machine, you notice that it exports everything. So for instance, let's say I'm using this group right here, group one. Even though I might not have nothing on massive, or I might not have nothing on contact, or I might not have nothing on morphine or FL Studio plugged in, it's still gonna export it. So it's gonna be like this blank session. So you know, I just wanted to kind of show y'all like you know how. I export this stuff from the beat making process onto you know mixing and mastering so anyway it's actually already saved so I'm not gonna save it again so once that's done what I do is kind of just close out of here after the beat is done as you can hear it's unmixed okay so I remember it's beat number 570 so what I do is I close all of that out do I want to save it nope discard then I go to FL studio And after that, I go into my files over here and I'm looking for uh, Machine Studio and what that was, Beat 570. Go to Beat 570. I see these stems right here and I just press Control A and just drag them over. Wait for it to load up. Make sure I got my, uh, it's already at 130 BPM. And that's just basically what I do. It's at 130 BPM. So um, this is what it sounds like unmixed. And that's just the same thing that I did over there. So I just basically just showing you how I export it from no matter what it is. It could be a different type of uh, MPC software or whatever. Or you could just record it something in Pro Tools or however you mix or whatever you record in. And you could bring it over to uh, FL Studio and you can um, basically edit it. So uh, I got another video about purging. You know, you can get into that later. Just go to the other video called purging. So you won't have to be here all day doing this part, you know, getting all these extra tracks out. Cause remember I told you F, I mean, uh, machine studio exports everything. You know, it, it just don't recognize the audio tracks. It just exports everything. And then you have to go and do all this whole little process. But I don't mix and master inside of machine studio anyway. It's just, um, it's, it's faster for me to do it in FL Studio. So I'm bouncing from one dial to another and then I record the vocals in Pro Tools and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, that's it. 
see y'all later um this just a, was a video on how to get stems how to export and get the wave files going because at the end of the day all your stuff is going to be wave files anyway audio whatever it is so check you out later deuces don't forget to subscribe too by the way yep peace